What's up y'all, this is Keith here. Thank you for joining me on this video. I've decided I'm gonna switch up the way that I do these videos. I'm playing around with a lot of different things right now, including both medium and just the way that I actually produce the video. But I think I wanna stick to this um, just drawing process and a little bit of a voiceover with me explaining what's going on more or less. So anyway, yeah. One of the things that I've been playing with the most is actually watercolor of late. It wasn't something that I really did a lot as a kid, other than just with school projects and whatnot, but I found that I really, really like the medium a lot more than I was anticipating. I had seen a bunch of other people on YouTube and on Instagram use watercolor to great effect, and it kind of inspired me to try to do it, and I had had a bunch of supplies, including these pencils that you see here, these are actually watercolor pencils, which I enjoyed a lot more than I thought it would also. And brushes and whatnot too, but I, I never really had any cause to use them uh, until I actually started watercolor. And now I'm just kind of, <laughs> not exactly blowing through them, but really using them a lot. I'm trying to crank out a lot of these and really enjoying the process uh, before school starts. One of the mediums that I used a lot before was colored pencil, and I do a lot of sketches just in general, so I'm very color with the pen, very comfortable rather with the pencil medium, and so that's really what was one of the nice things about watercolor pencils is it really allows me to kind of jump in with something that I'm already kind of comfortable with, um, and kind of spill over into a medium that I'm a little bit less comfortable with, but that I'm really really enjoying. Um, so that's been really nice. This painting is of kind of a mental image that I have of a movie that I really enjoyed, especially as a kid, called Castle in the Sky. Um, it's a Miyazaki film, and he's the same guy who did Spirited Away. Some of y'all may recognize that one. This is my favorite of his movies, actually. Uh, and it was a, a movie that I really, really loved as a kid. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, uh, the girl that you see here, her name is Sheila, and she is a descendant of the royal family of Laputa, which is the castle in the sky, and she is on a mission with her friend, uh, I can't remember his name, it starts with a P, but they go on this expedition to go reclaim and, and find the city again, the, the castle in the sky, as it were. But I was always fascinated by these robots, and uh, so I definitely wanted to, to draw them. Uh, I always thought they were super dope, and, but they were always kind of peace-loving, which was really cool, despite their immense power. Anyway, yeah, the sorry for the change in scenery. I was um, out in the... we had pulled the, the kitchen table into the living room so Taylor and I could paint for a little bit together. But then it spilled into the next morning, and Taylor wanted the kitchen table back, so I, kinda, <laughs> I acquiesced there. But, yeah. I love the blending that I'm able to get with watercolor. It's something that I... You, it's really hard to get with other mediums like pencils. You can, but you need to, you need to do a lot, put on a lot more time, lay down a lot more color. Whereas with watercolor, it's just so much easier. And the colors that you can get too are just so vibrant. I, uh, I really love a lot of colors, even though I do a lot of just, I guess you could say, gray pencil sketches. So I try to add as much color in my paintings as I can. Hopefully I'll be seeing some more of those in the future. Uh, I actually want to do a bit of a series where I go through and, and redesign mythological characters. Um, so hopefully I'll be seeing a lot more of that in the future too. Just adding in some more of the final details here. Um, as I was finishing up, one of the things that actually kind of threw me for a loop and, and was kind of upsetting was when I uh, went to take the paint off after I signed and everything, you'll see the tear there that occurred when I tried to pull the masking tape off. Uh, it was pretty sad, but I was able to paint over it there at the end. But yeah, here's my final result. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the art, and thanks for watching. I'll catch you next video. Feel free to follow me on Instagram also. For my personal page, you can follow me at Keith underscore Lau, and for my doodles page, you can follow me at Keith's underscore doodles. Thank you very much.